All right, so I've got my design printed out. Uh, my next step is to take my right-hand side printouts and my left-hand side printouts and combine them with each other so I've got one sheet of paper to work with for each layer. So <clears throat> all I do for that is I'll show you for one layer and then it's basically rinse and repeat for every subsequent layer. So um, I mentioned that I like that I have these reference points. Uh, three front reference points to be able to line that up from side to side. So all I'm going to do is just first come in and cut off the white border, small little white border here, so that it lays out and matches up without that in the way. Okay, got that gone, throw it away, don't need it. <clears throat> Next up is to take this, um, take the side that I just cut off that border to, overlap it over this side, and then line it up until, until I've got it spot on. I'll also check along the edge as I'm doing this to make sure <clears throat> that I've got a straight looking line um, along the overlap. This is looking pretty close. Just need to move it over a little bit. There we go. I think that's it. Um, so next up is to have some tape handy. Come in and tape that edge to join the two pieces. You're gonna go through a lot of tape, a lot of tape, a lot of tape and a lot of exacto knife blades uh, using this process. Those are the two things that I've that I've gone through a lot of. Okay, so once you've got it uh, taped, all I do is kind of fold this over and then cut off this additional overlapped backside. You don't need that anymore. It's just gonna get in the way, and you'll have to cut through two layers there of paper when you do that so get rid of that or keep the paper um, in case you need to mask something out specifically so the last step for each layer um, as i mentioned we did this dark black border on each on each at least in each corner but i did it around the whole edge it just helps me visually align it so at this point all i do is cut out just a little bit of each corner you can see I've just taken off just a little bit of the black and then come out into the white too. I'm gonna to do that on each corner. Just a little triangle space. Two. Three and four. This is just something that I learned as I went along. It's really it makes it a lot easier when you can see through your design to your canvas in this case, which is the cinder block, um, when you're laying it out on there right before you get ready to spray paint. So uh, very little of this is actually spray painting. That's just the final, final step. It's like any form of painting, it feels like it's 95% prep and or cleanup. Now you can just see I'm just taking out pieces of single-sided tape and covering up those corners that I just cut out. So now when I lay it out on the block, I'll be able to see through and set it down just right on the block, on the edges. Um, before I spray paint it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this for the remaining four layers. This is layer one. Um, if I know what I'm gonna do first, I'll usually write the color that I'm gonna do for this layer on it before setting it aside. I'm just kind of laying out 
laying out my workflow before I go.